Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, about a year ago, my wife Kylie and I, we bought a three acre farm in Southern Oregon. And ever since that day, we've been realizing just how many ways there are to damage your hearing. So for example, over the last year, we've experienced things like freak accidents where trees have literally fallen out of the sky and crushed sauna trailers. And then my buddy had to come over with a chainsaw to help us clear the damage. Shout out to Dominic. Chainsaws are very loud, of course, so there was some hearing damage there. We've also extensively done remodel projects. Uh, we redid our kitchen for our sake, as well as the sake of YouTube, because I make fun food prep videos on this channel. And so that was months of running various power equipment. Likewise, we remodeled our garage and turned it into a home gym. More power equipment, which means more hearing damage. Last summer, we also put in a garden in our backyard. And as we quickly discovered, it was very compact. It was very clay rich. And so the neighbor, shout out to Don, had to come out with two different tractors on two separate occasions and help us till up the earth. I found out then and there that tractors are also very loud. And last but not least, three acres is a lot of land. And so my life has changed exponentially in the last year. And I now have weekly yard work responsibilities. And so I'm averaging about three to four hours of lawn mowing, raking, leaf collecting, et cetera, et cetera for which I use a beefy Husqvarna lawnmower, which is also very loud. So all of those things and many more affect our ears. And Kylie and I both agree that we don't want to end up without hearing in our later years. So we decided to do something about it and started researching hearing protection. And that is going to be the topic of today's video. I see this video going down in two parts. In part number one, I'd like to discuss all of the hearing protection that I've tried up until a couple months ago. This includes different style hearing protectors. And then in part number two, I want to discuss Pro Ears, a company that makes electronic hearing protection that I recently learned about. I've been testing their stuff for a few months. It's very good. And I think that is gonna be the way forward for me and for my wife. So if you're into that kind of thing, do stick around because it should be fun and educational. Before we jump over and look at various types of hearing protection on the table behind me, I think it's wise to define what causes hearing loss or potential hearing loss anyway and that is excessive noise. And so what is excessive noise? According to the EPA, as well as OSHA, excessive noise are loud sounds above 85 decibels that persist eight hours plus. Anytime you're working with power tools or heavy equipment or shooting guns or et cetera, et cetera, when you do that for a long period of time, that could lead to irreparable hearing damage which is what we wanna avoid. From memory, I'm gonna try and just summarize quickly how loud some noises are. I believe gunfire is somewhere in the range of 150 decibels, so it's very loud. Firecrackers are somewhere in the 130 decibel range. Chainsaws, like the kind Dominic used to help me clear my sauna trailer, they run at about 110 decibels. Circular saws are roughly about 100. Then we have tractors and farm equipment, which ranges in kind of the 90 plus decibel range. And then we have other power tools like drills and they're in the 80 to 85 plus decibel range. So if you're running any of those things for prolonged periods of time, it's very essential to wear hearing protection. Otherwise, later on in life, you're gonna be spending thousands of dollars on hearing aids. So without further ado, let's hop over to my review table and actually look at different styles of hearing protection in two parts. On the gray mat in front of me, there are several different styles of passive hearing protection. We have some earmuffs and some earplugs. And real quickly, it's probably worthwhile to define what passive hearing protection means. This term just refers to the fact that none of these earplugs have any sort of digital or electronic components to them. So when you put on these earmuffs, for example, they're literally just acting as a barrier between loud noise in my eardrum without any microphones, microchips, that kind of thing. In this video, I do not wanna crap on one style of hearing protection and glorify another. Instead, I'd like to just go through systematically and address some of the pros and cons of each style of hearing protection. And so in part one, we're gonna focus on passive. And then in part two, I'm gonna tell you everything that I've learned about electronic hearing protection. And we're gonna go ahead and start with these foam and silicone earplugs. 
This right here is probably the most common way that people protect their ears. These things are super cheap. You can buy them in bulk, they're readily available, and they're very compact so you can put a set in your pocket and have easy access whenever, wherever. And I like these because they actually offer quite a bit of protection. Every piece of hearing equipment on the market has a noise reduction rating or NRR. And so these foam earplugs, I think their NRR rating is in the high 20s, like 28. So when you compress them and stick them in your ear, once they fully expand, you're getting nearly 30 decibels of hearing protection in this small little package. So for that reason, I really like those things. What I don't like about these is that you have to wait for them to fully expand in order for them to do their job. And this takes 10 to 15 seconds. And that 10 to 15 seconds can be very annoying, especially in environments where you're trying to listen to somebody else. So you put these foam guys in your ear, you're waiting for them to expand, they finally expand, you go to work, and then your buddy Dominic says, hey, Sergey, I need to get your attention so as not to cut off your arm with my chainsaw, at which point I have to pull these things out, address Dominic's concerns, and then we're right back where we started, where we have to compress them, put them in our ears, and wait for them to work. So that's kind of one of my beefs with those. The silicone ones are a little bit better in that you don't have to wait for anything to expand. Unfortunately, that convenience costs you a little bit of hearing protection. I think the NRR of these things is lower. When you move up in price a little bit, you get essentially the same thing, but with a headband or a neckband rather. So you have foam or silicone earplugs attached to this band. And this is super duper convenient in that you can put it around your neck. Now you don't have to store these things. You don't have to keep them in your pocket where you can lose them. And whenever you need hearing protection, you just plop them in and you're good to go. The only trouble is that this neck band, it creates feedback as it rubs on your clothing, on your neck, and this feedback then travels into the earbuds and makes everything sound like a submarine. For me, this neck band is actually kind of a deal breaker because that submarine noise is incredibly annoying and I can't maintain having these things in my ear for longer than 10 minutes. So for short jobs, these things are perfect, easy and fun to use, but for longer jobs, they literally drive me nuts. And I also find that when they're in your ears because of the band, they don't get inserted fully. And so the hearing protection they offer is also diminished. Now there are different models out there. Some are probably better than others, but if we're just diving into the pros and cons, those are my major cons. Then you move over to the, the ear muffs. And as a whole, these things offer much better protection. Again, none of these things have batteries in them. They're literally just acting as a barrier between your ear and loud noise. And I feel that the over the ear protectors, they create a better seal. They muffle things better. And so for the purposes of shooting, running heavy equipment, being around loud things, these things do a much better job at protecting your hearing. I do have a little caveat there though. I am somebody that has a really big head. This gets me in trouble in more ways than one. But one of the things that's annoying about my big head is that I can't wear over the ear muffs for prolonged periods of time because it'll lead to a headache. Sometimes this headache even turns into a migraine, which is very unfortunate for me. So with some of these beefier style headphones, I can only wear them for about 45 minutes before I develop a headache. You know, these are actually quite comfortable. This is an older model that I've had for years. It's probably my go-to model because they're plush. I could probably maintain more like an hour and a half of this before I get a headache. Alas, my mowing responsibilities, my yard work responsibilities often take me beyond that point. And so I have to take breaks. Long story short, these are all great alternatives for saving your hearing. The one downside to each of these is that they're passive. And so if you're working in an environment where somebody has to get a hold of you, ask you questions like on a job site, you literally have to take these off, address the question and go back to wearing your hearing protection. And so there is that nuisance of having to take on and off 
your hearing protection over and over again throughout the day, and this will cut into your productivity. For those interested, we can quickly address the price. These things are super cheap. I think these are like 40 cents a piece. These are a little more expensive. They're like a dollar plus. With the banded earplugs, you're jumping into the 10 to $15 range. And then with the earmuffs, they just, they're the full gamut. I believe these were like 40 bucks. These were slightly more expensive, closer to 60 bucks, but they have an NRR rating of 29. So they're, they muffle things quite well. And then these I bought secondhand, so I don't know what the full retail price is or if they even make these anymore. And then these right here, I think they were somewhere in the $20 range. So for not a lot of money, these things will do a fine job at protecting your hearing. And you're also gonna have to circumnavigate some issues in terms of sound and productivity. Now let's talk about electronic hearing protection. So there's three pieces of equipment on this table that are considered electronic hearing protection, the pink, the green, and this little case right here. Electronic simply means with digital components, with electronics in it. So for example, all of these earplugs, they have circuit boards and batteries inside. And so there's actual microchips and computer software in there that activates when you turn them on and further helps to protect your hearing. They also have little microphones in here. The microphones are covered with a windscreen, so that prevents that <laughs> noise if you're outside. And then each ear cup also has a little dial that you can turn on and off and fine tune how much electronic hearing protection is being offered. Little distinction that's important to make, when these things are on your head and off, it's just passive hearing protection. Again, this thing is just acting like a barrier between loud noise in your ear. But when you actually click them on, that engages the electronics and protects your ears while simultaneously letting you hear soft noises. And we're gonna talk about all this here now. I went ahead and I labeled all of these. This helps me remember while I'm on camera what I'm talking about and kind of reduces the amount of tech specs that I'm spitting. In these review videos, it's all too easy to get bogged down in technical aspects of a product. And then I start sounding like a robot. So for those interested, if you wanna see the exact tech specs, I'll link to all of these products in the descriptions below, and you can go sleuth around in that. But for the sake of this review, I'm just gonna give you my layman's perspective. All of these products are made by a company called Pro Ears. Pro Ears is based in Michigan, United States. They make all of their products in America. And for full disclosure, I just wanna say that Pro Ears and I are collaborating on this video. All of these headsets were sent to me free of charge. So there is probably some level of bias in what I'm saying. That being said, I'm trying my best to convey information to my viewers. That way you can make the most educated, best decision for yourself. And I'm not just trying to sling headphones to you guys. So the very first thing that I wanna say is that both these over-the-ear headphones blew me away. I've been testing them now for about three months, and I have to say that having additional comfort in the ear cups, as well as the band itself, seems to eliminate the headache problem. So even though these things are tight, they're not exactly loose, the fact that the ear cups don't press on my head with the veracity of, say, these guys, enables me to wear them for much longer durations without any sort of ill effect. So that's miraculous discovery number one. If your earmuffs have more padding to them, it's going to lead to a better user experience. These pink earplugs take comfort to a whole nother level. They're actually even more comfortable than the green ones. They come standard with gel cups, ear cups, that have gel in them. It's kind of like a stress ball. It's very addicting to touch. When you put these things on your head, magic happens. Currently, the gel cups are kind of cool even, and so it feels to me like putting your head on a cool, soft pillow, and then taking another cool, soft pillow and putting it on your other ear. Incredibly comfortable, incredibly comfortable. 
These two do not lead to headaches after prolonged use. About a month ago, my wife and I got a puppy. Her name is Mari, she's currently 12 weeks old. At eight weeks, we were crate training her at night so that she had a comfortable den to sleep in so that she didn't tear up the house. And at first it wasn't going so well. She cried a lot and I have a clip of that. After a few days of not sleeping very well and hearing lots of crying, I remembered that in the room next to our bedroom, we have hearing protection that we're testing. And so Kylie and I actually, for about a week, slept in our pro ears. We would put these on our head and plop into bed. It would muffle out Mari's crying. We were able to get restful sleep without any sort of ill effect, no headaches, no nothing. So what I'm saying with that story is literally these things are comfortable enough to sleep in because I slept in these. <laughs> now let's quickly discuss how these things work when they're on. So when they're actually being electronic hearing protectors, these things have little microphones in here. And when you turn on this dial, it engages the microphone. The more you turn on the dial, the more the microphone is engaged. And at its peak, when the thing is on full blast, this is actually enhancing soft sounds eight times. So it's amplifying all of the soft noises that you hear eight times, and you have two of those, which has some awesome real world applications. So for example, one of the tests that I did with all of these hearing protectors was I took them to the gun range, shout out to the Ashland Gun Club, and I actually tested each model against lots and lots of shooting target practice. At full blast, this microphone is acting like a hearing aid, and it's actually amplifying soft sounds. Now I can hear very soft sounds better than I can with the naked ear while at the same time, if I make loud noises, those things get clipped and brought down to a healthy level. So my hearing is being protected, while at the same time, soft sounds are being amplified. If I were to use the same example that I used earlier, if I'm wearing this electronic hearing protection and working on sawing down a tree, Dominic and I can communicate to each other in whisper soft voices, while at the same time protecting our hearing against loud noise. Additionally, having the ability to fine tune each ear individually has some really practical applications to it. I think this is especially beneficial for people that shoot guns or go hunting because it gives you the ability to completely turn off your right ear, let's say. So maybe the ear closest to the firearm. And as you shoot, you're getting maximum hearing protection on one ear while simultaneously being able to hear other people in your left ear. So this is a huge safety issue. Uh, that is worth its weight in gold because it, it's literally gonna lead to people being better and safer when they're around guns. Additionally, Pro Ears also makes a slimmed down version of the earmuffs. They call these little guys the Stealth Elites and they're in-ear hearing protection that's electronic as well. So let's just quickly run through what these are and what they offer. They are essentially in-ear earplugs that have electronic capabilities. And I have to say at first, I was very skeptical that something this small can do a good job. As you can see, they're about the size of foam earbuds. However, they have little computer chips inside of them that help them amplify soft sounds while simultaneously reducing loud sounds. They have three settings when they're fully turned off. They're muffling loud noise as well as all noise to NRR28. Then when you switch this dial in the middle, they're mixing in a little bit of ambient noise. And when you flip the dial all the way to the end, they're actually amplifying soft sounds five times while at the same time protecting your ears against loud noise. And when I took them to the gun range and tested them along with these, I was pretty impressed, I have to say. I can easily shoot my gun, which has a noise rating of 150 decibels while wearing these things in my ear, and I don't feel that I am getting damage to my ear as I'm shooting the gun. Not quite as good as this, but I'm impressed nonetheless. Like I said, I had low expectations and they exceeded all of them. Furthermore, you also have Bluetooth capabilities. So it comes with a Bluetooth lanyard, you can just clip those in to each earbud. And now you can not only protect your hearing while at the gun range or doing your work or whatever, but you can also listen to your favorite podcasts or music. So that is a very nice feature that I think some people will appreciate. 
And I, you know, when you're, when you're working in loud environments, sometimes you get bored. And so having the ability to listen to music is a very good feature. I'd also like to note the amplification modes. So these stealth ones, they can amplify sounds 5X, five times. And these bigger earmuffs, they can do 8X. And what this translates to is incredible spatial awareness. In our tests, one of the things Kylie and I have been doing is that we've been taking these on hikes with us as we climb mountains, as we walk through the forest, and we just crank them up to full blast and just simply walk through the woods. And I have a couple clips to show you. In particular, at one point I was sitting on top of a mountain. I couldn't see any ice, but with the amplification fully on, I could hear ice melting. Crazy. I can hear the ice melting. <laughs> I don't even see any ice, but. During another test, we were out in the woods again. I wanted to test just how sensitive these things are to soft noise. So I had my wife stand 100 feet away from me, something like that. And she actually whispered stuff in my direction. And I tried to repeat to her what she said to me to see how well they worked. And I have a clip of that to show. Hey, Kylie, whisper something to me. Yeah. Mari's a really cute puppy. Yeah. Dude, so check it out. I'm standing right here. Kylie's standing way over there. And when she whispers, I can hear what she's saying. Whisper something to me. Okay, that time I didn't hear it. She said two days ago was my birthday. That's pretty good. The last set of pro ears that I want to discuss, they're not electronic, they're actually passive. And so I don't have much more to say about this because we've already discussed how passive hearing protection works. But I will say that the slim for form factor might be nice for some people to know about. These things are a lot smaller than something like this. You know, they're about a third smaller. And so if you're somebody that is concerned about space or maybe concerned about how your head looks when you have hearing protection on, these slim pro ears might be up your alley because they'll kind of reduce that Frankenstein look. However, you should know that the smaller the hearing protection that generally affects NRR, these things have a smaller noise reduction rating than the beefy guys. So these Thunders have an NRR of 29, whereas these Slim Pro Ears, the Ultra Gels 22, they have an NRR of 22. More than likely, people are gonna wanna know about price, so let's address that. The Pink Pro Ears, they cost about $200 per set. These green ones are 260. Both these are military grade, law enforcement grade, so you're obviously gonna be paying more for those. Then you move down into the Stealth Elites, these ones retail for about 160 bucks, so about $100 less than these guys. And then last but not least, you have the passive hearing protection from Pro Ears, and these retail for about 35 bucks, which puts them in the same category as what we discussed in part one. As always, I was able to negotiate a promo code for my viewers, so if you wanna pick up a set of these for yourself without paying full price, you can use promo code BUTENKOFILMS at checkout and save yourself 20%. I suppose the million dollar question is, are pro ears worth the extra money? And I'm gonna answer that by saying that if you're somebody that works in loud environments infrequently, then you're probably better off just going to Home Depot or your local hardware store and just buying a cheap pair of passive headphones. That is gonna sufficiently protect you against loud noises, and you might as well not spend hundreds of dollars if you don't have to. If on the other hand, you are like a hunter or somebody that enjoys going to the shooting range or just somebody that works in loud environments regularly for long periods of time, then I think it's absolutely positively worth upgrading and spending the hundreds of dollars on things like these pro ears because you're gonna save yourself thousands of dollars later on down the road on hearing aids. These pro ears not only help to protect you against loud sounds, but they also boost the soft sounds, which is hugely beneficial in terms of productivity at work, as well as safety. We've addressed that enough that I don't have to go over it again. And last but not least, for folks like me who get migraines when things press on their head, you're gonna be very surprised at how comfortable these things are. You're not gonna have debil debilitating headaches cutting into your workday as well.
So if you're somebody that works with loud noises regularly, these things get my stamp of approval and I can't recommend them more. On that note, I also wanna say that while the Stealth Elites pack a really big punch in a small package, I think that the earmuffs are really the winners of all my experiments. I just think that for not that much more money, you get a lot more amplification, a lot more comfort, and thus I stand behind these two products like a rock. And that's it. That's all. Thank you so much for spending some of your day with me. For more videos that are just like this, but totally different, subscribe to this channel, Butenko Films. Like I already mentioned, all the product links will be in the description below, as well as the promo code. So if you decide to upgrade, that's on you, and you know where all the information is. That's it, that's all. Peace, guys.